Grace and Lotties, uh, Elizabeth here, and t I'm going to be looking at another app today. And this one I found in the App Store of all places. It was one of the editor's choices. It was like on the front page when I got in there. And so I thought, well, if the editors pick it, let's look at it and see what we think. So here it is. And I am using an iPad Pro, the standard size, with my pencil here. Uh, with this app and using it, I found that you really don't have to use one of these to do it. You can use anything that will just work. You can use your finger. Uh, you can use a regular stylus, but uh, I'm used to using these. So I did one review of this only to have it do a major update like the next day. So I taped that and then I was like, well, we'll come back and revisit it with all of the new features. <laughs> Thinks this cool is that they work to feature Instagram artists, and so they have a whole bunch of um, different artist styles here of things. And I haven't seen this one yet. This one's new. Oh, look at those fancy creatures! I'm gonna get that guy. I think we're gonna come back and do that one here in a minute. I haven't seen that one. So they're just different artist styles on these. So you can see. Um, Compared to a lot of other apps, I've kind of noticed that this one's a little more whimsical, which is fun. It kind of has a different, slightly different feel to it, which I like. Um, birds here. I don't want to scroll real well with this. Uh, just trying to show you guys a couple of the different artists here. So I've got some architectural ones with some people. Just a couple more here, furry little friends. <laughs> this one's uh, Deep in Your Mind is more than the mandala designs here. So you can follow all of these artists on Instagram. That's where they have been found. And you can also send them ideas for other artists that you may know. And this, they're le kind of letting me know who's coming up next right here, kind of hiding down here. Ugly Ink Part 1 by Sam Moore up next. So it's kind of like he's a little bit of a little tease there for us, but Sunshine Island right here is the new one. Uh, they have right here that you can get uh, for 60 days f since you came on one a day. Uh, you can also, for the different things right here, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what the fees are. You can download it for free, but uh, you can get a free trial for a week. Monthly is $7.99 a month. Or if you sign up for the full year, which they do $39.99 once a year, it uh, comes down to $3.33 a month to subscribe. And with your subscription, you get the basic on all of these things done right there. Uh, so that you get all of the artworks that are here. Uh, under the free one, you just get one per artist. So you get the base one, but you can also say, I just really like this artist, didn't really care about the others so much. I can support and just buy that pack with a one-time uh, fee and support that artist. So that's pretty cool right there for that. So instead of doing the subscription. So let's go ahead and we're going to go into this one since he looks so fun. Um, and if you tap right here, see we've got a great palette here. And I like it because it's um, it gives you a wide range of colors, but it's easy to get back to the color that maybe you picked. Because you see it's just got a couple of things in them. So you can say, oh, I'm at the medium. I'm at the just one shade lighter. All the way light. Yes, it just seemed a little easier for me to keep track of versus a slide bar up here. Uh, so we'll go back to the medium. One more, oop, too far, there we go. Medium is like a full circle, but uh, it's almost easier to do this. Ah, why are you not spinning? Um, so you spin it like this to go around. And so you see, you've got a ton of colors here. Oop, I'm going around again. So see, spin, spin, spin. So lots of choices in there. Also, the artist will put together a palette for you to use in each one of those, and that's what you can tap in there. And I kind of like getting those pre-put together palettes because I like the challenge of trying to use just the colors they gave me and figuring out ways to make them work in a piece. So uh, for me, that's a lot of fun. Uh, this also has 
right here I'm going to show you guys the different brushes that it has as your standard eraser, the ink, a watercolor brush, uh, a more like a spray paint brush, but I'm going to get into that one in a minute because it's a little different than your standard spray paint. And then more like kind of an acrylic-y brush. It doesn't have a pencil per se for getting in here and doing this, but I will show you kind of some of the differences. They've got, this means I can free color anywhere. This means it stays in the lines. So let's go ahead and we're going to do the water first. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with this little spray. Now what it's got right here is you go down to this button, and I choose my brush size. See? So if I want that one, that one, that one, that one, that one, that one. So teeny. For this spray paint, I want it kind of big, and I'm going to show you why I want it kind of big. This, rather than being a standard spray paint, kind of comes out... See? I love this, because it's a little more whimsical of a feel for the, the way it comes out. So I can just kind of go wee and get the whole background done here. And I, I like doing backgrounds first on things. It kind of just helps me to know where I'm going on things. And there's a couple of spots in here because that's on its own and that's on its own. And then her arms right in there. Is that all of the spots that got? We'll go a little more in here. Get a little tighter in there, there, there. But I really like this, and I'm going to zoom in a little bit on mine so you guys can see how it does. The um, And they did do a couple of changes in it, so two fingers. Oh, we can undo that. Two fingers to move it, grow, shrink, your standard thing. But I wanted to show you guys kind of how that paint right in there looks. So you could go in now, and let's say I go in with a smaller brush, and I can add in little bits of shadow like that with it. Okay. It's not being too smart. I'm going to have to move that. I thought it might, because it moved it a second ago, it might move it a little bit. I don't know why it caught in there. It shouldn't have. But yeah, so if I just wanted to go in and just add in a couple of shadows behind some things, you can do that. I could go in, and I'll show you guys too, but that's with the um, spray paint feature. Whee! If I did it with the watercolor brush, and still tight in here, I might want it a hair bigger. Coming in here with a brush. See, so it kind of gives you that. That's that size. Kind of. There we go. And it does do, is you like watercolor, like it's on a wet paper, so it kind of bleeds out a little bit. But you can use that. That's a great blending to kind of bring them together. Right back there. So I see how that works. Um, your inking tool is pretty standard for an inking. Let's, we'll make this a pink fish. So see, real standard, just uh, basic. I like to use the ink to go in um, and just do a basic fill-in when I first start on a piece, and then I come back in with the other tools and I add in some interest, because like right here, we got a decent sized brush. Oh, I want to go smaller. You can come in to kind of give those guys a little bit of fun on each one of them. You see, I'm just real quick, and then these little... And this is the last brush that um, they show it kind of like an acrylic paint um, on here. But it, to me, behaves the closest to a pencil if you're used to using pencils on these. And I'm going to show you here, too. But it does do, if you come back, we'll blow it up even more here so you guys can see in. If I come back over, it does darken a little bit more. So you've got that little bit of play. This app is not um, an app for, to get it, for getting in and doing like super detail on it. But with the whimsy feel, whimsical feel that it has, I really like the fact that that's not something that you do as much on this. I like that I've got these different effects that I can come in and do. 
Um, you do not have a choice to like set transparency for your color. So if you just wanted to do a little bit over it, so you probably will want to play a little bit with what colors you use if you're trying to do that a little bit more. But overall, I mean, I've had a lot of fun with this one just because it is so simple and you don't overthink these pieces because, um, right here, see, I mean, I can just come in and do some simple stuff on these leaves. If I wanted to, I could do that with watercolor. I'll do that here and show you. Just some simple, I mean, almost scribble strokes right there that you can create. Now, so you see I'm doing just a little, oh, I'm supposed to be in watercolor. There we go. And I kind of bleed in right there. So, kind of see the look right there that you can get. Now, the eraser on this uh, has a brush size as well. Um, so, you can kind of come in and say you wanted to add in a highlight somewhere. So, that's really skinny for coming in for that. So, if I wanted to kind of come in and remove some color, like say on these leaves, I wanted to, a little heavy for that. I wanted to come in and say, you're bright here, here. I'm being really fast here, so my lines aren't great. <laughs> but just kind of give you an idea of what that can do. And let's say I come in with my brush, that yellow, and kind of tie them down a little bit. I have yet to see an app that has a good smudge feature, besides a free draw app. Um, not one of the ones like this. I'm gonna Kind of go over all of it right there. Kind of brings it all together when you do that. Kind of see how it's flaring up a little bit, which is what I want. I've done some others, and I'm going to go over here now. So you kind of see what the basic things are. There's the huge and all the way down for that. Uh, I'll show you another piece that I've worked on a little bit more. We'll go in this guy right here. I want to, can I not go in bigger? I guess not, I thought I could. Um, I thought I could go back in here and look, but uh, you can kind of see I did a little more with some shade, some shadowing play. This is one of the first, when I first got the app went in. And just using the multiple colors that they have in there, I uh, got in there and just did a couple of things. I think maybe, is it in this one? Here it is. This is where I can show you bigger. So you can see going in there with those and just kind of creating, like you can see I did a little bit on the hedgehog there, underneath the friends and in the tree, just that little bit to kind of give some dimensionality. This is a lot more cartoony. It's whimsical. I like that because it's something different. And it's, I think just the app as a whole, oh, wrong way to go. This way is the way I want to go. Um, as a whole, that whimsy is fun and it's something a little bit different and I have enjoyed this one a lot. So um, I would like to know, I've got a couple of questions for you guys as viewers. Um, number one, are there any other apps that you would like me to review and look at? So if you know of any, just leave those down in the comments as well as would you guys like maybe a how-to on some apps? Because like I've worked quite a bit in pigment and some others. And so if you have, maybe you want to see how to use a little bit more of the features to create things or how I go about it, um, leave that down there too with the app and kind of what you're interested in down in the comments. Uh, I hope that you have enjoyed this video. If you have, please be sure to uh, like, share, and subscribe. Um, this channel is growing. I also post a bunch on Twitter and Instagram. You can follow me there. I'm at Grace and Lotties. And as always, remember that art happens in everyday life. Make sure you're watching for it. Bye. Bye.